Today we are going to be making a snickerdoodle. <laughs> no, today we're going to be making dog biscuits. dog biscuits for the Islip Animal Shelter. So we've done snickerdoodles. One of the classes is going to be making snickerdoodles this week, but not the seventh graders who's going to be doing the dog biscuits. So we do not edit our videos, do we, Jake? Nope, so we haven't done a video in quite some time, and so to make Mrs. Sauer's life easier this week, I'm just going to hit play in class instead of having to do two live videos. All right, so dog biscuits, here we go. So we're going to make sure we have everything out, Jake, right? We have whole wheat flour, yes, wheat germ, we've got our milk, we have one egg, we have wax paper, a cookie sheet, a rolling pin, and we have a custard bowl. Okay, we have to use that. Stop. A liquid measuring cup, a large metal spoon, a level or medium bowl, a one cup dry measuring cup, measuring spoons, a wooden spoon, and a fork. So I am missing the wooden spoon that, oops, Jake gets hit with, right? And no. you get hit with this. Ooh. Okay, here we go. So we're going to measure everything out, and then we're going to put the ingredients together. We're going to bake it. I need you to stop. And then we'll show you what they look like when they come out. So this is going to be your second uh, cooking experience this week. We usually do this first, but it's just not working out uh, this week to do it that way. So before we make the sugar cookies, we're going to be making dog biscuits. But the dog biscuits are going to the dogs, not to the students. Let's eat them. Let's not. Maybe we could try. So we don't have a dog. We used to have a dog. Mm -hmm. But maybe um, your Uncle Steve would be home and we could see if uh, the dog likes them. Okay, so we used to have a black lab, but poor Summit got old and didn't like Jake, so she's no longer with us. All right, here we go, Jake. We need first, oh, and somebody's phone is around, they're getting texts. We need one egg cracked. Would you like to crack that? I don't think you've ever cracked an egg before, so this is what, it's going to get all over your hands probably. Let me do this and let you do the milk. Okay, so you need... What does that say? Because I can't see it. A quarter cup of milk or a little less. So this is a quarter cup measuring cup. And you're going to do a little bit less than a quarter cup. So before we do this, we have to teach Jake, because I don't know if he knows, you have to measure at eye level, but on a flat surface. So you are going to have to get down. So get off. Jake's actually on a stool. And you're going to, you can hold it up, but then you have to do it at on a flat surface. While he does that, I'm going to crack my egg. So I'm going to put it on the side. So you're gonna have to bend down, Jake, and make sure that you don't get more than a quarter of a cup, a little bit less than a quarter uh, of a cup. So you see the red line? So uh, a little bit more. You definitely gotta go a little bit more. Wait, bring it closer to you. I think that's good. My hair is coming out. Don't believe it. All right, so we have an egg, we have a small amount of milk, quarter of a cup or a little bit less. Then we're going to need one cup of whole wheat flour. So do you want to measure the flour? Yes. Yeah. And we always do that on wax paper, so grab that container. And we have a fresh new container of wax paper. Of course, you can't find the start of it. Can you open it? Okay. You have a metal spoon. And you need a one cup measuring cup. And you're going to lightly uh, spoon broke it. it. It was broke. Lightly spoon and level it off. So, wheat germ is an edible section of the whole wheat. It's me? rich in nutritional Always. content. And you can usually, it's usually toasted too. And that's daddy's phone that just keeps going off and it's going to keep going off. So my students know that you always have a measuring cup like that okay. and you always lightly spoon it and level it off. So you can take big heaping spoonfuls yeah, I know. like that. Okay. And then hold it. So I know why don't you do it? Off. Okay. While he does that, I'm going to be measuring one and a half tablespoons of wheat germ. Just the level. Yep, so no, you didn't heap it over. You never pass flour down. You're going to heap it over, which means you're going to topple it so it makes a nice big pile. Keep going. Like a mountain? Yep. Keep going. No, add more. Did you see how it's not in the middle there? Do one more scoopful. Okay, now you're good. Now hold up. Because once you level it off, then you're going to have to place the measured ingredient there. So you always take a leveler. So you see how you're going there? You take it like that and scrape it off. And then you're going to put the measured 
right there. Okay, so put that in there. In it. Yep. Right on the wax paper. And then I'm gonna measure the wheat germ. Okay, so some people put this in yogurt. So, woo! Pop! And you're gonna put the extra whole wheat flour back in the container. Now, not everybody is going to have a container of whole wheat flour. We're going to have to share that. So just as soon as, as soon as you're done measuring it, you're going yes, to give it back. I did. Or put place it back on the supply table. So I still haven't had a chance to measure throw it the wheat germ. We're not going to throw anything. Okay, now that's not what Mrs. Sour likes. So one tablespoon. So this is what you need. You always should have another piece of wax paper. Shape. Are you serious right now? Because it was funny the first time it happened. It's not funny now. So now we're going to have to redo the whole video. Uh -huh. Okay, so Jace thinks he's being funny because there was a video a couple years ago when I pushed him with the cornbread video, and it was funny at the time, but now he's just... And you know, all your kids could be laughing at And them. a half tablespoon, so there's not a half tablespoon on this, but in school there's another set of measuring spoons where you can measure one and a half tablespoons all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is just go halfway in the tablespoon. Okay, so now we have all our ingredients out. And we're gonna place everything in the bowl, okay? So we have an egg, we have the milk, the whole wheat flour, and we have the wheat germ. I want you to read direction number one, Jake. Preheat oven to 450 degrees. Okay, so our oven is already and preheated, so I want you to read the next direction, Jake. Break egg into a medium bowl and beat the fork until blended. Heat with a fork until blended. So I've already cracked it into a custard bowl. Now we have to place it in here. And I didn't take the fork. Can I? Can uh, I? Yeah, Can I? just pour it in there. So this is why you should have everything out so you don't have to go into uh, the cabinets or drawers. Can you just put your sleeves up? You did have your sleeves up. So of course I put my hair up, we washed our hands, all right, and we put our aprons on. So right now you're gonna take this, I'll take my Fitbit off, and you're just gonna go like that with it. You're gonna mix it up. So beat with a fork, so you have to break it up though. Keep going, keep going. So watch, watch me for a second. So what I like to do is I like to hold the bowl, and go like that. That's called a professional. Okay, you keep going. Go ahead. I'm going to add the wheat germ. You're going to keep mixing. The wheat germ. And the milk. Okay. Perfect. So there's going to be two people who will be mixing the ingredients. Everybody will help measure something. If there's a group of five, unfortunately, somebody is not going to be able to measure because there's only four ingredients in this recipe. Okay, add wheat germ and milk, add the whole wheat flour, mix until egg mixture, mix into egg mixture using a wooden spoon. So at this point, we're going to put the fork away and just put it down on the counter. Go ahead. And now we're gonna, grab, we're gonna grab the wooden spoon because that's what the directions say, so hold off. It says, add whole wheat flour, mix into egg mixture using a wooden spoon. Okay, and then we're gonna lightly flour our surface because then we're going to be rolling this out. So what you're gonna have to do is kind of smush that up against the side. It will eventually all come together. And then we're gonna roll it out. It's kind of like a sugar cookie where you roll it out. What we're gonna be using are dog biscuit. dog biscuit cutters. So I have like paws and um, uh, a cutter that looks like a dog, but they're too big, so we get a lot more biscuits out of this uh, batch of dough using these. So every group will be making them in the seventh grade. So you're gonna keep mixing it all together. I'm gonna try to get a surface ready here for us, Jake. Can I just see it for a second? So he's doing well, see how it's all come together? But then we have some dry ingredients, so I'm just gonna take my muscles hey. <laughs> and just push it all up against and all those little crumbs on the bottom are gonna to come together. So what Jake's gonna do is you're gonna lightly flour the surface. So just in your hand, take a little bit of that and go like that. Uh, take on it in, the counter. Yep, all on the counter. The, the counter is good, it's all good. good. 
So this is lightly flour, rolled dough with a rolling pin about an eighth of an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna spread it around, so move that around. That's good. So you don't want to use your hand with this. this is, it is a little sticky. You want to make sure you measure a little bit less than a quarter of a cup because then it's way too sticky. So what you can do too is just put a little on on the dough before I start touching it. Because I'm going to bring it all together with my hands. Hey, I want to. Can I? And you're going to help me roll it out. I don't think you're going to want this on your hands. Nope. It's Jake likes his hands really clean. So just like, oh, yep, just like sugar cookie dough. We're gonna take it, we're gonna form it all together. And you're gonna, you always flatten sugar cookie dough. We're gonna do the same with a biscuit with our hands. Let me just show them, okay? And then you're gonna roll it out. So you don't wanna go too thin. Okay, so with a rolling pin, again, for some reason, I don't like the handles. I like to very slowly go from the center out in all directions. So you're gonna do it nice and, so I'm gonna tell you to do the same thing I ask my students. Don't even use those handles. Because what happens is it gets, just doesn't form nicely. So very, very lightly, nice and light. I am. Nice and light. And then we're gonna cut it with the biscuit cutters. Now we don't usually use parchment paper with this because they don't stick and they slide right off once they're baked. So they take um, 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. So we're gonna put them in the oven probably 10 or 15 minutes and then I have to flip them over and then we're going to put them, or I'm gonna put them back in the oven because uh, the students will be gone by the end of the period because they do take quite some time to cook. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit, little bit more. See how when you're using the handles, it's not even. So go nice, back and forth. So it's a little sticky. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the top. That's enough. Just go like this. So now when you use, so when you make sugar cookies, or dog biscuits, should I say, Re-rolling it toughens up like a cookie. So let me just show you this. Wait a second, I'm at the fork of our. There's two sides. So this is the sharper side. See, see, this is the dull, this is the sharp. So you never want to go right in the middle. You want to go right on the edge. Yeah. And then if you have it sticking, just take it in your flour and then you're going to go there and you're going to make as many cuts as you can, Jake. So you go. What I'm going to do while he does that is I'm going to use the leveler Okay, to pick them up. So you can go there now, too. I'm just trying to listen to the directions. Oh, okay. You're, you're, you're going to listen to me? Nope. Maybe tomorrow. So Jace just got picked up from a friend's house, and I told oh, him that we had to do a dog biscuit video. And I and didn't want to. He didn't want to, but I said that the students like seeing him. Better than that woman. <laughs> Better than me alone, because he does make it fun I sometimes. I okay, he's gonna cut it a little, little bit more. Then you're gonna take all the dough. So we only got four. We're gonna we're gonna re-roll it. I think this time I think we should have went a little bit thinner. Now a sugar cookie dough, I would have definitely uh, made it this thick. But with the dog biscuits, we're gonna try to get as many as we can. You don't want to go too thin though, okay? Because then it's gonna start sticking to our surface. Not so too you thin. Not too thin. So I'll, I'll be walking around to show you. So I'm forming it in my hands very quickly. We're going to need the rolling pin again. I know. You want to lightly flour the surface? I did. On that. Okay. Now you're going to go very lightly. Don't use those handles again. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. So we usually go get anywhere from eight to ten dog biscuits. Let's make eight. Let's make eight. Why? Because you want to get out of the video? Uh, a little bit. So it's a Sunday afternoon. It is the holiday season. If you look in back, we have our Christmas decorations up, right? Two weeks from tonight. Uh, 14 to more days. Uh, 14 more days. Um, including Christmas Day. Okay. I think that's good. I don't think so. I think it is. One more. Okay. Well, again, who's the teacher? One more. There we go. Okay. So look, see, it's not that sticky, but I'm going to use that. Again, we're going to cut. I want it. Okay. I think it's a little bit of... Uh oh, I think we have a dog. <laughs> There's apparently a dog in our house. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. How you doing? Oh, it's the Ello family again. Hey. Let me make a quick biscuit, and I'll be on my way. He didn't wash his hands. 
Oh, it's just going to a dog, let's be real. Oh, hey, what you what are you doing? Okay, I didn't you? touch anything. I'm just going to the dogs. The dogs need something. Goodbye, to girls and boys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, all that. <laughs> and we're gonna do one more. Hey guys. Okay. Guys. Okay. He likes football. Hey guys, let's now go watch some football. Giants, big game tonight. Oh. Giants. Giants. Play Giants. Giants who? Roof, roof. Okay. We get the point. Giants Dallas are tonight. So we only got four because we had a little bit of a disruption there from Mr. Donald Duck. Sour. No, Mr. Donald Duck. Mr. Donald Duck. Okay. Nope. Look, we, we got all this. Uh, we got to feed these dogs. So we're going to do it one more time now. I could get one more out of here. I could maybe get two. What do you think? Mm, so I'm going to get, let's cut one. Okay, I can do that. Okay. I can do and then that. I bet you I could get one more. <laughs> Okay, and let's re-roll it. So how many did I say I'd get? But we're not done, there's another important thing. So I'm gonna get one more. So I have a fork. Can you just grab another fork? Cause I got, that has egg all over it. You want a fork? I want a fork. You want a fork? I want a fork. Why, why do you want a fork? Jake? I need a fork. You can grab a fork. I have a fork. Cause you know what grandma used to do to me? Oh, if I talk about grandma on YouTube again. Do it, do you it, You know what do she it. used to do? She used to. We'd eat at the dish, she'd fork us. Why? If we said something wrong or did something wrong. If she had a fork in her hand, she'd fork us. Oh, that sounds... All right, so one last thing, but I don't really want to put this on here. Let me just grab a towel. If I get flour all over the bottom of the uh, baking sheet, okay, it's going to then smell. Like... Oh, excuse me. Okay, we're on video again. Oh, okay, oh, so this what? is what we want to do to make it look like a dog biscuit. I'm gonna put that in my flour, and then we're gonna make, just like on the picture, we're gonna put a little fork mark. Cool for you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We're gonna put these in about 15, 20 minutes, and then I have to flip them. So how many did we get, Jake? Nine. We got nine, so I said anywhere from, we could do it on the side too if we want, anywhere from eight to 10. All right, so we're going to place these in the oven. What do we need to place on our hands, Jake? What? What do we have to place on our hands so we don't get burnt? Uh, uh, oven mitts. Yep, so we're going to put oven mitts on, and we're going to put them in the oven and tell them to come back in... 20 to 30 minutes. In about 20, 30 minutes. Oh, right. we nailed it, and I didn't even know. Okay, here we go. I like George Washington. Oh, they just came out. The dog biscuits are done. They just came out. And it's not about eating, it's about learning. It's about a learning experience, right? So this is something we're not going to be eating. We're going to be given to the dogs as part of a service learning project. <laughs> and I know some of you are going to ask if you could bring them home to your dogs, but I'm going to say no, because you can then go home and make them yourself. So these yeah. are all going to go to the Islip Animal Shelter. And we'll put a little note, right, and say happy holidays to the dogs at the Islip Animal the dog Shelter. Is. The Dodgers, okay? So have a happy holiday, everybody. No matter happy what time of the holiday. year it is. Happy holiday. Right? Okay, thank you for watching. Deb, thank you for watching. Deb, I like George Washington.